So we've made the guacamole. And now we're going to take the seeds and we're going to try to germinate them. And we're going to do that in three ways. I have four different seeds here. So we're going to try three ways that I've read about on, online. Three ways. Three ways. I'm not giving you a finger. <laughs> no. One is just planting in, in raw soil. The other is, you know, putting in the water and the toothpick method, which seems to be the most wily thing, so we're going to do two that way. And then the third that I found, we're just going to wrap it up in a paper towel and put it in a dark place, which seemed kind of odd compared to all the other things, saying put it in a sunny window. But then I was reading about how direct sunlight on avocados are actually bad. So... We'll go from there. So first, all right, this might get a little messy. First, I want to make sure that you know I have a uh, wet potting soil. Now, from what I've read and researched online using my my Google skills, the top of the the, the that you want to plant is the uh, the smaller end in the bottom, which they say the uh, the root will come out of, is right there. So, we want to plant that and leave about you know some of it sticking out, but that'll be number one in how we're going to do things. So. Okay. Now that I've wet down the, uh, the counter, I should have done that the pot last. We're going to do the cup method. Now, instead of using clear cups or glass jars, we're going to use to use two red solo cups. And we've got my toothpicks, and we're going to. And they're supported in the in the cups themselves. So after that, we're going to add water. And of course, I don't have enough, but I want to leave about you know half of it in the water and then half it out. So and once again, this is just using my own Google research methods. And they're going to put those in the window. In the last method, we're going to use a towel that I've wet and wrung out because we don't want it to be, you know, sopping wet. We're going to wrap that up and then we're going to put it in a container and put it in a, a dark place. As I drop everything all over the house. So. I'm gonna get a little oblong container. Okay. 
that'll work. And that way, if it sprouts, Well, no. Now, I'm not going to close it all the way off because I want some air to get to it because we're not trying to suffocate it. And we're going to put that in one of our cabinets and let it go from there.